Considering how well the Moroccan chemistry has been growing amongst each game, I think this game could be more close than we possibly think. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today, I want to give an overall preview of Moroccans under 23's upcoming semi-final match against Spain. But before I go ahead and do that, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help promote my channel to an audience looking to learn more about Moroccan football. But with that being said, let's go ahead and begin. Spain's under 23 national team, a team that no matter which tournament it is, they're always considered amongst the favorites to come out victorious out of the whole thing as they'll be going up against Morocco. This feels like another rematch of the 2022 World Cup, but when that match occurred, Morocco had got the better of them, going the whole game scoreless and ultimately winning it on penalty. But I think this one will be a different scenario, but we have to dive back into the Spain national team. And I think Spain, for the better part of it, everybody already knows what's their philosophy, how they like to play. Of course, they're a team that just solely rely on passing, as passing is kind of their main gimmick. They usually wait until enough time has passed where frustration starts to kick in from their opponents. And usually at that moment is when they realize that they found a golden opportunity to break down their defense. But of course, with Morocco, we've seen in the past that Morocco sometimes isn't that team that, you know, they're going to get frustrated by not having the ball. If anything, at times, they're more of a team that they would rather you have the ball. And whenever they catch you slipping, then they will go and punish you on the offense. And I think similar to their senior counterpart, we could see something yet again similar go up against the Spanish national team. But of course, there are some things we need to keep in mind. Let's take a look as to where Spain have gone to get to this point. Obviously, considering that they were finalists in the recent under 20s, the youth Euro, barely losing out against England, it does show that this team does have the capability to go out and get the job done against some top heavy European team and throughout this tournament they have been looking pretty solid i know a lot of people are probably gonna say but wait a minute they lost against egypt keep in mind prior to that game they already had qualified so the match against egypt really was more of just giving their second group of players more of a chance to get some game time in order to better grow some experience amongst the team and that's where I think, you know, the misconception could come into play. Spain, for all their worst, are still a dangerous team. Don't count them out because they will definitely punish you if you are caught on the off. And of course, there have been some noticeable players that have already been performing, like Fermin Lopez, Alejandro Atubi, I think Abel Ruiz, and Sergio Gomez. In my opinion, those four players that I've been watching throughout the tournament are the key glue that's keeping everything in the forward. They almost mesh too perfectly, hence why they're scoring almost a lot of goals in every other game, apart from, you know, that game against Egypt. But for the most part, it kind of gives you an idea that this Spanish team is no slouch. And you gotta also think, their defense is also pretty nip tight, considering they haven't really allowed that many goals to come in. So they're both good on offense and defense. And that is where Morocco will need to find a strategic way to break them down. Because as mentioned, the way I see it, Spain will have a lot of possessions. So you can bet that that's how I think the game is going to go. But, and there is a but, the way I can see Morocco taking good advantage of it is to give Spain's almost a false sense of security get allow them to have the ball for a good majority of time and it's only then that we already know that the Moroccan youth national team are so dangerous in offense and make quick passes some even consider the way that we're playing almost like Brazilian style football add in with a African flair and that is no heavy feat it's something that Morocco in the past has been heavily talked about that their style of play almost 
emanates the Brazilian style of football that has been missing from the actual Brazilian team. So I think this could go down to the wire. Definitely be a KG match similar to the Argentina match. But, and this is where things start to get difficult. As much as, you know, I could always just say, oh, you know, Morocco is going to come out victorious out of this. This one's getting tougher and tougher. And that's how I feel that it keeps going with every match that keeps coming along the way. It's just going to get difficult to fully predict. You know, I could say it go down to 1-1 one, one because, you know... Morocco, I think for all their words, they're definitely a team that are starting to piece it together. Their defense, yet again, was perfect to a sense in that match against USA. So that defense is slowly building up the chemistry. Osama Lazuzi, Mehdi Bukamir, Zachary Eluwadi, and Ashraf Hakimi are now realized, yes, we need to attack, but we also need to be smart on the defense. So you keep that good formation going, and I think it can work out perfectly. Of course, it needs to be noted that Bilal El Canoos did pick up a yellow card in that match against USA. So unfortunately, he will be the sole player that will miss out the uh, match against Spain. So it'll be interesting to see how our coach lines up. Honestly, I can see him probably going like two in the front, having Rahimi and um, Ben Segir up top and keeping the same formation with everything else just in order to complement it. But of course, it's up to the coach in the end to figure it out what is the best way. But if I was to give an honest prediction, considering that they did play each other back in the group stage of the 2012 Olympic, where it ended 0 0, I'm going to say it could go down to another draw, either 2 2, 1 1, and just end up going to penalties. But I could be completely wrong, and that's where it gets tricky for me to truly tell. Well, there you have it. This is an overall preview of Morocco's match against Spain. Honestly, these are two top teams that you could make a good argument saying that one of these teams has the capability to go all the way to and win gold. But at the end of the day, this upcoming match will be the end of the road for one of them, where it will likely come down to a third place match off for one of these teams. Of course, I want Morocco to win, but seeing how well Spain has been playing, it could be truly difficult to predict whether or not Morocco could pull out a win or not. But I would love to hear your thoughts and opinion. Do you think Morocco has the capability to beat Spain? Do you think they'll fall flat and finally lose a game here and try to face off for the third place result? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinion, but more importantly, I'm just glad you all made it to the end of this video. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.